Look at her escaping. Wow, this thing is Houdini, this spider. If you're a gambling person, uh, who would you put your money on? The redback spider or a cricket, hey? Warning, this video contains extremely graphic images of a deadly spider infestation I found amongst children's toys. If you have a fear of spiders and the creepy things they do, this video is not for you. Well, hello there. This is my follow-up video for counting redbacks that I found in amongst the toy trucks out the backyard. Who's gone and checked over all their Tonka trucks now to see if you've got any blackwood as a redbacks living underneath or inside? I'll tell you what, I bet you there's been a whole ton of people that have had a major awakening uh, from what I showed in the other video. What I should show you is that, of course, that was the area there where I found the uh, great big uh, nests of redback spiders. And over here, I think it's very important to show this area here, this is where the skinks and lizards used to live. And I say used to live because the cats uh, had cleaned them all out. Skinks and lizards are very important in spider control. I've got some video of them cleaning up spiderlings from house spiders that I had around the house. Uh, spiders tend to have uh, many, many spiderlings per egg sac. I think redbacks have about 250 from what I read. And without the skinks and lizards around, it's going to allow spider populations to basically blossom out of control. And I believe that's what's happened at my house. Well, I'm not an environmentalist and I'm not stupid, but I do know when there's an imbalance in nature, it's going to allow other critters to basically get up populations that are unnatural. I believe that's what's gone on. The cats have killed the lizards. It's given the spiders an edge. And let's just see who has survived in this tub of water overnight, opening it up very carefully. And of course, checking under the lid first for any spiders. Okay, because we're going to have to count how many redbacks we've got going. It's uh, been about 24 hours that these guys have been in here. There's a redback there, wondering if it's dead or alive. It's alive. Um, there's another one there on the edge of the greater scraper thing there. There's one there. Uh, it's one of these things, the more I look around in here, the more I'm going to see. Uh, sorry for the wind noise there. It's a bit of a windier day today and the sun's popping in and out. Look at this one up here, trying to escape. Back in you go, naughty, naughty. I've prepared an old Vegemite jar to collect the spiders and I've given her the breather hole on top there. I'd hate the poor things to perish. Come in and grab this one here, uh, noticing that it's still alive. Uh, that is what's extremely scary about this. Um, put it in the jar. Then you go, down, 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 down. There's one over here. I'm not sure whether it's dead or alive, but it's gonna go into the jar. We'll soon find out, won't we? Okay, I believe that is one there. A bit hard to pick up. I put it in the jar. I hope it's a female. There's a little tiny spider there. I've got no idea what that one is. Spider experts can ID it for me. Okay, there's one there swimming around. Don't know whether it's male or female. I'm going to pick it up. Noticing that how these things are still alive. Uh, that's really, really important to see. I think the one I just picked up, I think that's a male. Look at this guy here spinning the web. Let's just kill him straight away, eh? In the tweezers. Die, 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 I don't want you. Go away. There's a female red back here on Mrs. Cow's foot, maybe looking a little bit worse for wear, but who knows, it might get the kiss of life uh, once it's in the jar. And Fluffy, as inquisitive as she is, she's come down to wonder what I'm doing down here in the white tubs and all. Hey, I'm um, cleaning up the mess that you caused. Uh, stop killing the lizards, Fluff. And Bluebell's also the other one, uh, killing everything inside in the backyard. Okay, well obviously there's a big one here. Uh, there's actually one moving here. Okay, well, I don't know whether it's male or female. I'll just get in the jar as well. It's a survivor. I think down there's actually a nice collection of males and females. You know what that's going to mean. I think the very important thing to note here is noticing how many spiders have actually survived being in here. Uh, let's get this big one here. Okay, I'm pretty sure that one's still alive. Yep, that's alive. I'll get it over to the jar. Let's just put a web out behind it as they do. Get down, get down, go away. Yeah, survived a whole night in that tub, hey? Uh, they love water, these for spiders, very sort of hardy things. There's a horrid big female right here. Let me just grab a leg. She's not gonna like me, but I'm gonna put her in the jar. Come with me, honey. They've got a special place for you. In there, she's just dragged a web as well, like they do. Look at that, aren't they clever at uh, trying to be escape artists? Look at that, it's like a freakish puppet show. Hey, I've got a puppet on a string. Get off there, get off there. Boy, oh boy, she is wanting to stay connected. Well, I don't want you connected, go away. Look at her escaping. Wow, this thing is Houdini, this spider. Get back down, go down, go away. It might be extremely prudent for me to put the lid on at this stage. 
Yes, I'm having to look very carefully now. Uh, mind you, there is a spider there, but I'm not sure whether that is a redback. Let me just have a bit of a close look at this one. I'll tell you what, it's very sodden, that thing there. Well, there's that spider, and I've sort of tried to splay the legs out. I don't think that's a redback. Uh, spider experts can probably ID it for me. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'm totally sorry. I can't see any other obvious uh, large redbacks in there, but what I can see in there is there are tons of what are either small males or juvenile redbacks. So I've got the flamethrower here. I'm going to deal with those guys that don't know about them. Give them a lick of fire. And that's going to tidy those guys up. I'm sure of it. I've also got some other tubs here to inspect and I'm always very careful of the lid before I open these up, making sure there's no spiders. I'll have to come down through here and look for any redbacks. At a quick glance here, uh, there's nothing obvious, uh, but we don't know. Uh, it could be something, once you wriggle stuff around, they may start to appear. And speak of the devil, there's something on my glove there. I'll just get on there. What is that thing there? Okay, that was from that tub uh, just then. Good night, sister. It's gone. I'll come and give that a lick of flame because it's fun. That will hopefully kill off anything that's laying on the top there. And if I move the spiders that I've collected so far today, plus grab the ones that I fireballed yesterday, I have another tub here which needs inspecting. It could be some more redbacks in here. Yeah, I think some of the most graphic spider videos are finding all those spiders and the Tonka toys. Okay, well that thing there wasn't a red buck, I don't think. Well, I'm always feeling itchy during this video. Let me just have a very careful look under here first, because sometimes I want to leech on the lid. Well, okay, I can see something here. Okay, what is that spider there? Yes, it uh, has come out of these ornaments. Hmm. There's also another very strange looking spider there. Okay. That's a funny thing with redbacks. Often there's other spiders that cohabitate in their area. And I'll tidy up the small spiders like this. Oh, look at that. The air bubbles coming out the back of that thing there. Woo! Yeah, it's a little bit of flame that really knocks spiders around. Uh, it's quite a nice trick to know if you've got a spider problem. But there's nothing here that's popping up and screaming redback spider to me. I can't really see any male ones either. That's a much smaller spider. I will carefully look through this tub here, uh, this tub here, and this tub here to see if I can find any more female redbacks. To find all the redbacks and those Tonka toys is what I call an extreme scenario. Uh, that's not normally what plays out. And I think in the garden here I can show you a much more normal style of environment that redbacks can be found in. Redbacks love to live in the zone which is down near the ground and about as high as a pot plant like this. Uh, they'll often put their webs up in areas like this. I'm pretty sure that this environment here is your perfect sort of redback environment. They love to get underneath the handles of pots and things and I reckon if I dug around in this pot here I'm going to find a little family of redback spiders. I notice inside one of these plants there's actually a spider living right down here. Uh, it's got a fairly structured web although it looks messy and if I Take the camera right inside the plant there, maybe we'll get a close look at that spider. Again, maybe the spider experts can ID that one for me. Hey, what do you reckon that one is? Oh right, yeah, beauty. Come here. Come to Papa. So spiders have their place, don't they? Uh, they're part of the food chain. Um, there's all sorts of different spiders around. And spiders are reclusive because if a bird saw that spider, it would just come in and have it as a meal. The redbacks that are alive in the jar, I've given them a special treat. They've got some crickets there to feed on. I'd hate them to feel hungry while I'm waiting to do the final count. Well, I can tell you one thing, I wouldn't want to be that uh, cricket in there. Uh, those spiders are looking very, very hungry. I'm also wondering whether I'm going to see a male and female connect. That'd be a great bit of video to get. If you're a gambling person, uh, who would you put your money on? The redback spider or a cricket, hey? Stranger things that have happened, the crickets may communicate with each other and work out how to nail the spiders. But I very much doubt that. Uh oh. That's not looking very good at all. Oh no, spiders given up. So I'm half tempted to uh, go and find a praying mantis and put the praying mantis up against these nasty spiders. 
I've always been highly suspicious of this old Tonka grader. I think this is where the activity of the redback spiders really began. In the other video, I remember seeing a redback was popping in and out of this area here, and I'm pretty sure I can now pull it out. Uh, around the wheels of this vehicle here, in particular the hubs, there was lots of spider web activity. Inside the hubs, there's lots of little areas where spiders, the redbacks, love to live. Let's see if I can just uh, pull the spider out of the back here. Hopefully it's going to pour out for us. Okay. Played a little bit hard to get. Let me see if I can get it out. This is a big one. This is one which I ho is hopefully dead. Mind you, who knows when they're in water. Let me see if I can get it out so we can get a much better look at this one here. And this was the one that was hiding up inside part of the toy that you just couldn't see. Okay, there it is. That is a monster. The $10 million question is, is that spider actually dead? Uh, I know these spiders can uh, survive a long time underwater. Uh, that, there's a mother spider, that one, I tell you. Look at that there. Very scary and it was hiding out extremely well. Now there's a very peculiar uh, strong piece of web here or something and it's connected onto something else up here. Who knows how it's got inside? I don't know what's coming out now. What is this thing here? Oh my goodness me, I hope this isn't a giant egg sack or something. This is one of the creepiest things that I've ever seen. What is that there? Okay, let's get it down onto the thing here. Is that a red back egg sack? Oh, look at that. That is horrible. Well, if you think you've seen everything in these redback videos, uh, that thing there, I highly suspect that's an egg sack. It's ginormous. Okay, whatever this here is, this spider here, love to be next to it, okay? This is the one that I saw uh, very briefly, and it was very, very cunning and, and very eager to hide. Maybe I understand why. This is what it was protecting. Well, I've got my collection jar here, and uh, well, the spiders are still fighting out there, and they're trying to decide whether they want cricket for dinner. I'm going to put this egg sack, whatever it is, I'm, I really think that's an egg sack. It's the right sort of feel and size of a spider egg sack. Mm, the other spiders are quite interested in that thing there. And I'll also put this very large uh, female redback, uh, which who knows if it's dead or alive. It may come back alive. It's making for one very impressive horror show, isn't it? Looking at that. Oh, scary stuff. Scary, scary, scary. Let me just tell you a bit about this Tonka toy and how I ended up with it. It's actually one I found on the rubbish piles. I liked it because it had a fair bit of metal in it. I mean, what I've noticed with Tonka stuff is they've become more and more plastic. Uh, I don't mind giving toys a second life. My son had a bit of fun with it. It looked good in the garden. Uh, but the part that I don't like about this toy that I've actually just <laughs> realised, and hopefully you've realised as well, is that there's a perfect spider home up inside there. This is the this is the toy where I think the trouble really emanated from. I remember seeing Webb on this toy uh, a couple of weeks back, okay, and I think the spiders have progressed from this one. Uh, but the trouble is when the spiders are in the engine bay area there, that's inside that plastic piece there, there's really no way of knowing what's going on. And that's why the Redbacks have found this to be the most comfortable spot for their spider egg sacs. Yeah, uh, I think what I've found is that heat is the best thing uh, to deal with the spiders if there's any other spider in here. Uh, it's going to be history and I really want to see inside the engine bay there, I'm going to really burn this up because I want to understand what's going on inside. I don't think anything is going to survive that. I'm pretty sure of it. Yes, uh, my thoughts of picking up rustic toys on the side of the road uh, are adjusted now, I can tell you. I'm pretty sure nothing's going to survive that, and that is the area there. Now we can see it because all the plastic is gone, that's where all the trouble was. I know someone's going to land a comment, oh Leo, did you know that was an ultra rare Tonka Grader toy? Well, guess what, they're even rarer now. If I'm thinking about another vehicle that displayed a lot of web, and I think there's some secrets on this that haven't been revealed, it's this little car here. Let me take it over to the area where I can clean it up with some fire. The intensity of web on this one uh, was quite alarming. Uh, mind you, it may have been an earlier home for these redback spiders and they've moved on to the new vehicles. I dare say, like anyone, they like a fresh set of wheels. And like the Tonka Grader, this is a toy I picked up off the side of the road. Given a bit of a clean. The spider went wet, so it's taken a bit to take it off.
Okay, roll it over and I'll get the top side as well. Nice and hot. It's going to kill anything about, I can assure you. Ooh, crikeys. I may have overdone it. Now I set it on fire, there's actually a fair bit more plastic in that toy than I first imagined. I can't see any spiders running out of that molten plastic, can you? There's something very simply satisfying about something on fire. It's the ultimate solution. I can assure you there are no spiders there, or there. And I've gone through all these garden ornaments and toys and there are no more spiders there as well. So it's time to get my spiders dead and alive and tally up exactly what I've got. In this container here are the spiders that were kissed by fire and I'll tell you what, they never recovered once they were touched by the heat. So I'm going to try and count uh, the female redbacks. Uh, well, it gets a bit complex as we go a bit further on as I'll discuss soon. Uh, that, that's one. That's the squash one that I did. That's two, three, four. Little tiny one there. Four. That's another one there. Five. Uh, and what is that one there? Uh, I think that's another one. Okay, six. So hopefully we concur we have six female redback spiders right there. Yes, yeah, so I even put breather holes on that lid there. I don't know why. Uh, they're all dead. Uh, time to move on to what's going to be a, another container. This one's going to be a little bit more tricky to work out what's going on. Yes, yeah, so I've done some rooting up, uh, especially about the egg sac. Yes, the egg sac in here is uh, a redback one. It's the right size. It's obviously with a big redback female. And um, we're going to have a little bit of trouble here, I think, identifying what's going on, making sure there's nothing under the lid here. Okay, let's take a look inside here. This is going to get tricky uh, because I read into these spiders a bit. Um, juvenile females can sort of look like males. They can be white spotted or white striped. So we're just going to go for the ones with red stripes, okay? As for the x who knows, there could be hundreds in there, hundreds of females. Okay, there's a female there. One. Okay. Two, that one there. I'm not going to count that one. Three, this one here. Four. Five. It's still alive. Six. That's also still alive. Okay, I might just count through one more time. There is a male or something cranking over here. There's web everywhere in here now. Now I've got that cricket. Thing. Looks like a cricket's been bitten and going to be a feed. I'll just try and do another count. And what I'll do is I'll actually just push them all to the side. I think actually the cricket's eating the egg sac. See that? It's probably a nice meal for it before it gets eaten by a spider. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, get over there. Five and six. I'm not going to count little ones. Egg sac could be goodness knows what. Anybody feeling itchy right now? I don't blame you. I did have some careful look at males of these spiders on the internet. Um, they have got a particular look to the front of them. Those little things that are like near their mouth and near their fangs. I'm pretty sure they're males. Uh, but I'm not a spider expert. I know the spider experts will come along saying, Oh no Leo, uh, you're wrong again. Uh, I'm, I'm, obviously these are females. And in a strange way, one of the smaller females here is showing the signs of the strange dottedness that they talk about of a juvenile female. Yes, uh, in a sense, these are very beautiful spiders, but you must remember these are also very, very dangerous spiders. You don't mess with them. You don't play with them. That's the first time I've really had a good look at the redback spider in, en masse, in a sense. I mean, I've come across individual ones over the years, uh, but I've never seen the number that I've seen like I've found in those toys. That has been quite alarming to me, and I think it's been quite alarming to some other people as well. Uh, it's actually been interesting. I've had to read up about these spiders to try and understand what's going on. Uh, I'm actually curious about the egg sac, but that may be another video. It may not be. And I've got the problem of how do I dispose of these spiders? Like, do I take them out to the bush far, far away and let them, you know, crawl out and be eaten by, up by something out there? Or do I just basically kill them on site here and be done? tell you this to be honest here I've got zero time for these types of spiders because they are basically so dangerous big problem for me is I've got to try and stop this from happening again if there is an imbalance in nature and the lizards have gone and that was the thing that was cleaning up these as spiders and spiderlings 
I've got to get the lizards back, don't I? I'm pretty sure that's what's gone on, and that's why I've had this huge, huge problem with these spiders. Okay, so the jar count was six uh, females. I hope I'm correct there, and maybe my lovely audience can give me some ideas of how to eradicate the spiders in this jar here. So the count, I hope I'm sort of close here, it was six by fire and there was six then I flushed that with water. There was also the egg sap, it won't count that, so six plus six equals twelve. So let me read some of the comments that came pretty close to this number and I'll give you a bit of a shout out. Well as you know I don't do shout outs much, but I'll give a few here. This is a very early comment on that spider video, 18 redbacks by Millie Pryor, thank you for that number. Thomas the privatised tank engine. <laughs> 16 females we're only counting the females it's a good channel name anyway uh nick adams guessed about 13 females that's very close creamy cram 16 in total dun dun wrong uh skylar sigmund i'm guessing about 13 that's not a bad guess as well that's what i would have guessed uh zova that's a good name 11 red backs hundreds <laughs> 14. I'll go. I'm not going to say any more. Tidmouth Milk has been a long, long term person who's suffered me for a long time. He said 20. He was totally wrong, but I'm going to put him in. Alex Cole Turner, uh, 13. Uh, the Chicken Pen, 12. That's actually correct, but it was a later comment. But the person who was the first uh, one to get the number 12 was this YouTuber, Inner City 125125. So if inner city 125125 uh, would like something small from me, uh, send a PM with a contact address and magic may happen. You know, sometimes you go to start to make a video and you don't know where it's going to finish. You don't know, you know what's going to happen. And when I heard my son saying, oh dad, I saw a spider down amongst the toys. Uh, I thought, okay, I'm going to find maybe one or two spiders, redback spiders. Yeah, that's normal. Okay, to find what I found there, that concentration of 12 females, and that was probably goodness knows how many more males or, or spiderlings, uh, in what was, what, a couple of feet square or half a metre square, uh, was, that's just not right. Okay, it, that's not normal. And it had me doing a lot of reading and trying to understand why is this happening. I've been in this house for about 12 years and never seen it before. I've never had that problem with toys in the backyard. I've had plenty of things laying around, trains and goodness knows what, what else. Never seen this before, okay? I think uh, it's going to make everyone just go outside and look at what's going on in the garden if they've got toys laying around. Uh, I would advise you to do that. But also uh, to try and understand the cause and effect of things. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the cats that have caused this. There's that vacuum of the things that would normally eat the spiderlings. And of course there was that egg sac, okay? When the egg sac hatched, what, you've got 250 spiderlings, they get drifted out by the wind, they go all over the place, uh, well, where's their predators and things? Sure, there'll be other things out there getting them, but the main predators have gone. Okay, the spiders had a massive advantage in our backyard. I just hope uh, we've all learned something in all this. I, I think I've learned stuff. I've got to try and think, well, have I been able to teach my audience something in this? I think one thing I really have learned, I liked, <laughs> It's a great way of nailing spiders. Just don't set fire to your house with it. I wouldn't advise you to do that. Okay, but that came from a comment on one of my videos. I've learned many things from my audience, and I try to think, well, can I apply that to myself? <laughs> sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I better leave this video here. I really do hope you've learned something, and I just hope it hasn't been too scary. It's one of those things, a number of times I was out there making the video, and you get this sort of itchy feeling and you want to think, is, is that a spiderling or a spider that's got out that I've missed? <laughs> I had a number of those moments. I better leave this video here. As always, thanks for watching and bye for now. And I just hope I don't have to repeat this style of video again. I've just got to get this spider problem under control.